back out. I've got a 11 mile route planned. I think it's 11. Um, I've started at Red Myers Reservoir and then I'm looping round to Bamford Edge and then to Stanage Edge, going past Stanage Pool and then coming back down. Um, so yeah, we'll uh, see how I get on. I'm tired, I've got a headache, um, <laughs> but I figured being outside instead of sat on my sofa feeling sorry for myself will be the best medicine for it. So yeah, I'll see how I get on. set off really late in the day um, in comparison to what I usually do. I think it's about quarter to one now and well, I started this like 20 minutes ago and usually I'm like half eight, nine a.m. meet ready to go so hopefully I won't have to be walking back in my head torch. Um, it just depends how many stops I make on the way to take some videos. I hope that you can hear me and the wind's not too bad. Um, I've just looked on the map and I can see it there. <laughs> I'm coming up to something called Spooky House, um, which I didn't know was a thing. I didn't know it was part of the shroom. Do you see it there? Can I zoom in? Oh, I can't even zoom in on a front camera. What's the point of these phones? Um, yeah, I didn't know there was a spooky house on route. There's like a little tiny little reservoir over here so I can see people sitting there um, so I'm not gonna carry on <laughs> filming because I'll get too embarrassed but yeah let's see if we can go inside this spooky house really much going on. Obviously there's litter because why wouldn't there be? There's litter everywhere now. The ages of love will never decease, that's it. Mm, it's not the spookiest of places I've been but it's still a cool little, little place to come and hang out. Right, I'll take a walk around. Got a back room anywhere. Oh, they do. Oh my god. I wasn't expecting that. Still not as spooky as I was hoping for. Kind of smells in here too. I've got my little microphone, um, just testing out to see if it works. I probably don't have to hold it, but I'm still not even taking the sticker off. Um, I don't have to hold it, but yeah, I just, it's the first time you're trying it out outside because the wind, there's like no wind here, but it pick, the audio picks up every little bit. Um, so I'm hoping this is a little bit better. I've decided not to be a total loser holding the microphone and I have stuck it to myself.
I had to do it to myself. Because if I twisted along the top, it's one, it's a shortcut for me, but two, it's the same, what's the word? Like flatness. There's, there's no ascent or descent. Um, whereas here, literally, I'm going down just to go back up. <laughs> And I could see that from up there. I've actively chosen to come down, just to come back up. Um, so yeah. Gonna be more than that, but I'm just heading over to Stanage now. Um, so when I get there, I'll show you the views over there, um, and also finally sick off Stanage Pole. I think I've been over there about seven or eight times now, and I've never um, gone to Stanage Pole. So I'm gonna do that as well. But yeah, I've got no battery left in my phone, so I'm gonna stick it in my bag, put it on charge. Um, Judge. I was going to say I'm the judge then. Don't know if you can see it very well on my uh, front camera. So I've just hit the four hour mark and I'm just about to hit the 10 mile mark. So I've pretty much done the majority of the route, which I'm glad about because I am tired. 
um, and more, it's more so because of my camp on Friday night not getting much sleep um, I've still not caught up on it but yeah I didn't want to sit in the house my headache's gone as well um, which I'm glad about I think food and water helped as well as being outside um, not the fact that I just had four coffees this morning uh, <laughs> I really don't help myself but yeah these views are beautiful um, I'm gonna go a little bit close to the edge and I'll, uh, I'll show you regretting my decision to go to Stanage Pole. <laughs> I don't know if you can see it or hear it, but there's just water everywhere. Um, I have got fresh socks and shoes in the car because I always get wet feet. Um, but I thought I was going to have a full dry run. Unfortunately not. The backs of my legs are now soaking wet, um, but it's just up there, so I don't have long left to go. So that's Bamford done, Stanage Edge done, Stanage Pole will be done. Um, what am I up to now? I should always prepare this, but I never do. Um, 11 miles, four and a half hours, um, which isn't too bad actually. I thought it'd take me a lot longer, um, only because of the filming and stuff. I'm a pretty quick walker anyway, but I just thought with all the stopping and videoing and stuff, I thought it'd take me a lot longer, so I'm glad I won't be walking back in the dark with the head torch on. To be honest with you, it doesn't look like much. It's literally just a pole in the ground. Um, I think this is one of the 95 Ethels though um, so while I'm here again might as well just tick it off but it's just a big stick in the ground to be honest I won't come up here just for this pole um, I'd come up for Stanage Edge um, he's cool just sitting there and watching the climbers and I'd come up for Bamford both of which you can just park at the bottom um, and walk straight up if you just wanted either if you just wanted a sunset but um, this little thing I don't know if the camera's even picking it up um, the closer I get to it the, the less impressive it becomes so yeah I also saw <laughs> the path to come up to it instead of going through the bog like I did. So it's just the last little stretch now. Um, I'm just heading back to the reservoir where I've parked. Can I open this one handed? Nope. <laughs> As I was saying, um, <laughs> I'm just heading back down this path back to Redmire's reservoir where I've parked. Um, 
it's I think it's nearly half five on a Sunday evening um, so actually this is like the latest I've ever been out doing this sort of stuff on a Sunday I'm back finished what did I do five hours five minutes 12.26 miles I am tired um, I'm tired I'm hungry it's half past five on a Sunday evening um, yeah I'm done in now so I'm gonna put some fresh socks on some fresh shoes on drive myself home and probably go straight to bed yeah it was a really nice route though hopefully the video shows that um, hopefully it came across but yeah I'm gonna stop here because I will I'll just talk for the sake of talking and yeah hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you on the next one thanks for watching